This video shows how you can quickly and easily install and use the InfoBlox DNS Firewall Virtual Evaluation to detect APT or malware by analyzing real-time mirrored DNS traffic. DNS Firewall is not installed in line, so it's not disruptive to your production network. Before you begin, be sure to download the Virtual Eval Kit from the URL shown here. For this option, you also have to configure your network switch to mirror traffic from the production DNS server to the DNS firewall. You can refer to the evaluation guide in the download kit for details on port mirroring. The DNS firewall virtual eval runs on VMware, and you will need the vSphere client installed and connected to vCenter. To get started, in the vSphere client, click on File, and then the Deploy OVF template option. Browse and select the .ova file that you downloaded as part of the virtual eval kit. This .ova file contains the DNS firewall and reporting modules. Read and accept the end user license agreement. The next few steps are specific to vCenter and are required to assign storage and compute resources to the InfoBlox virtual appliances. After entering the organization name, copy and paste the activation code that you received via email from InfoBlox when you downloaded the evaluation. Next, enter the networking properties like the IP address, subnet mask, and other parameters for both DNS firewall and reporting server. Keep your network topology handy as a reference as you enter these properties. Review the settings and deploy. The eval will take a few minutes to deploy. Once the deployment is complete, edit both the DNS firewall VM and reporting VM to assign VLANs to the proper network adapters. Power on the DNS firewall demo vApp. Wait for 10 minutes to make sure all the services are initialized and running. You can now start seeing any malicious activity by logging into the InfoBlox user interface using your favorite browser. The login ID is admin and the password is InfoBlox. Both the username and password are all lowercase letters. Malicious activity is captured in the RPZ statistics widget under the dashboard and then the status tab. It might take a few minutes or a few hours depending on your DNS traffic for the malicious activity to show up in the widget. By going to syslog and sorting it by reputation feed, you will see several log messages showing zone transfer. This means your virtual DNS firewall appliance is connected to the InfoBlock security feed and receives automatic updates every two hours to provide ongoing protection against existing and new types of APT and malware. Pulling up the RPZ incident quick filter lets you see logging of all suspicious queries that register a hit with the DNS firewall. These queries are malicious communications originating from within your network going out to malicious domains either to download more software or to exfiltrate data. The InfoBlox reporting server helps identify infected clients that are trying to communicate to malicious domains. DNS top RPZ hits report shows domains in the RPZ feed that have the most hits. In a non-evaluation environment, you can also drill down to a specific client to see the IP address, MAC address, host name, and other information of the device making the malicious query. The top DNS firewall hits report provides information on traffic distribution between various malicious domains and provides contextual information on those domains. You can see exactly what type of malware or APT is most active inside your network. So in summary, with the DNS firewall virtual evaluation, you can quickly detect APTs and malware that might be lurking inside your network, and you can identify infected clients easily for cleanup. According to the latest security research, most companies have malware and don't know about it. We highly encourage you to try this evaluation to see if your network might have hidden 
APTs or malware.